We are error. Let's get started. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the We Are Air podcast. This is Duck. I am here with Jake and Tommy. So, yeah, welcome to the We Are Air podcast. What is the podcast? It's a podcast. We talk about movies, entertainment, whatever the fuck we want to talk about. about. And today we're going to do another whatever. And we're going to get started with something that is crazy. (laughs) Something that is insane. Something that is... Jake, can you please set the stage for this? Yeah, it's a... Kind of simple, I guess. I go to check the mail at my club that I work at, and there's a message addressed to manager. Which would be you. Which would be me. No return address. It just has our address on there, so it's like, okay, what the fuck is this? I open it up, and it's these two pages of scribbling is what it looks like at first. It's like, what the fuck is this shit? Yeah. Or somebody, like, send me their, their school notes or something? <laughs> Holy shit. And it, I think it's a serial killer letter. Yeah, there's a cipher at the end of it, and it's coded, and it talks about angels and demons and shit like that. So it's dated 03-17-2019, and like you said, it looks like it's photocopied. It's definitely photocopied. So it's it's sent out to mass recipients. And then, so it just said manager, basically, on the envelope. Yeah. Holy shit. All right, so I haven't read this yet. Should we read the whole thing, or? So that's what I was wanting to ask you first. That's what I was going to say. Should we read it and figure out what the fuck we're looking at and then talk about it, or do you want to read it all out on air? I don't know. That's a good question. I was going to say, because it's pretty fucking intricate. Well, you know what? I'm actually going to start it. It's got numbers by each statement on there. Right. It was about a paragraph long each. Some of them are a little shorter, a couple right. of sentences. So Job 19. 19 equals he plus 285 plus angel darkness of heaven prophecy light. Angel darkness. Angels, smiley face, heaven, God. So there's little uh, indentations about it with one, one, two. What, so, what's the first numbers on that one? Job 85? Job, Job 19. 19. So it but, could be directly from the Bible. You got a Bible yeah. in you? No. Uh, <laughs> My pocket yeah, Bible. No. Uh, let me pull this out real quick. You carry that with you all the time? Yeah. I sure as hell do. I keep it right on my heart. You never know when a demon's going to show up and have to go pow. It stops bullets. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it does. In, like, westerns and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm you had my Bible in my pocket. Oh, oh Jesus, save me again. Like, Good thing I was wearing my extra large piece of the true cross today. <laughs> <laughs> Then people's angels of witness of Job, angel witnessing, spoke prophecy lights of angels, and the people spoke angel foundations. Number two, how long will the people of heavens vex my spirit in the people and break me in pieces with words onto heaven foundation? Number three, by these angels of God of history's lights, the backward people have reproached me with angels' words of heaven. This guy's crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah seriously. The people are not... How do you think shit. he was writing this? You angels! Well, it sounds... Foundation <laughs> of angels! <laughs> it sounds like... It reminds me of, like, all the new metal shit from the 90s and There's stuff like that. There's some serious ranting going on in here, though. Yeah. The people are not ashamed with people of heavens of the people by whom the people make yourselves strange to me. Number four. In darkness of heaven's gods, of heaven witnesses, of heavens is indeed. If people, people of whom I have erred, my people's error remains with myself in darkness. Planters unto heaven foundation. Five. If people of heaven's... Of, people, <laughs> no, no, it's I know it's like a, fuck. I feel like I need some Eminem music yeah. in the back. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Forges and forges. Yeah, listen here with the forges and the forges and the people of the foundations <laughs> and the Haitians. <laughs> in darkness of heaven's gods, I heaven witnesses of heavens is indeed. It's, it sounds the same. All right, people of heavens will indeed. All right, I'm gonna skip over this other stuff. You want me to read it? Javi's gonna try to read it. He's gonna start it at verse five. If people of heavens will indeed magnify angels of God yourselves against me and plead against me. My reproach is with heaven's words of heavens. This guy likes to repeat a lot of words. Right, now give Jake six. We'll just, <laughs> we're going to pass it around the room like we did in grade school. Know now the people of whom God of the people has overthrown me. And the people have compassed me with All right, Jake wrote it. <laughs> Keep reading it. It's awesome. Dude. By witnessing words with their network of witnessing and heaven witness supplantings who have in foundation... <laughs> <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Where were we at? Yeah, seven. All right. And behold, angel foundations, I cry, speak, preach, pinch, pinch out a loaf. Out of the wrong heaven's walls, I have foundations, but I am not heard by the witnesses. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Can I get an amen? Amen, amen brother. I cry aloud for people's walls of foundation, but in the lights of heaven, there is no judgment with people's angels of the paper. What does that mean, brother? <laughs> Just say amen. 
I'm on eight, right? Yeah, you're on eight. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to make it through this whole thing. Angels of darkness and heaven, Zach. All right, you guys can't do this. <laughs> I, I prophesy lights and the people have fenced up my way in people. What By is whom I cannot on? pass, and they by the people have descent, have set darkness in my path. All right. I, the dread pirate robber. Okay, what, but what's the gist of it? Where like, it's a lot of people with people, no, right? It's like a lot of heavens and heavens, okay. a lot of witnesses. So when does it get to this the point one where right, he's like... Okay, this one right here's got some weird Batman cow fucking domino mask things Holy on there. Shit. Is he a That's superhero? the second page. I don't fucking know. He's... Oh, what's that fucking mentally... Challenge superhero that would be Yeah, not a, not a handyman. Uh, <laughs> they may write this down. The people, uh, the people, <laughs> the they foundations. Be, they would be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it gets to the last page, though. You said it has a cipher on it. Too. Yeah, on the back. But you notice that there's numbers all over it. And yes. every time, like, angels or heaven is mentioned, I think that's one of the fucking things. That's why it's mentioned so many times throughout there. Why do you think it was sent to you? I don't, well, like I said, it, it was a, it was a mass. What was his name? He put a he put a citation <laughs> on here. What kind of? It sounds like it looks like it says Philly Doctor Lord. Let me see this. That's not a real Philly Doctor Lord. It's not a villain's name. What's your name, villain? It's Philly. <laughs> they call me Philly Doctor Lord. Doctor Lord. I guess maybe you do it in that like that preacher voice. They call me Philly Doctor Lord. I use KJV Holman Publishers Super Giant Print 1996. Seek wisdom. Seek understanding. Be alive. What if he put drugs on that paper? Fill up the anthrax on that. Uh, you would be dead by now. Y'all feeling numb at all? He had for over. I don't know. Hours. Jake's kind of like Keith Richards. He can probably handle anything. So maybe we're getting a little anthrax there. <laughs> what does it say? Yeah, that's anthrax. Wisdom? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand the note. I don't understand what we're looking for. I don't understand any of it. I, I don't either. What's with? Whoa! There is a cipher on here. I told you. Do you think yeah. maybe Mike's friend? Is making that book. Do you think maybe he sent that out to you? Why would he do that? I don't even know Mike's friend. I know, but just to fuck with everyone. Evidently, he suffered the Zodiac. Uh, Zodiac but maybe this is like a ploy no, to man. like... I think this is just somebody who's really fucking out there. Who hasn't? Who doesn't have time for anything else. Dude, or why send has it to a comedy club? Well, he sent out mass uh, recipients. That's what I'm saying. It's a printed copy. So it's not like handwritten. Did so you... that tells me right there that he sent it out to a bunch of fucking places. Right. What is he trying to... Prove with this. What is his message here? Am I in imminent danger? Am I going yeah. to die? Thank God you've been hitting those push-ups. Fingers today. crossed. Freaking, yeah. Fingers fucking crossed. Come on, bring it. He's going to show up and be messing with the wrong guy. He's going to be like, yeah, I deciphered it. He said, I got to kick your yeah. ass. <laughs> you try him outside. <laughs> I'll just be like, By oh. his long goth hair, because that's what I imagine. Some guy who looks like the crow basically wrote that. Trench coat, black jinko jeans, samurai sword. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that reminds me of that dream I had about Endgame. We, I freaked out a little bit at first when we went to see Endgame because I did have that dream that person came into the theater and shot up the place. Oh, yeah. That was fucked up, and yeah. I think I brought it up beforehand, but we were just drinking. I was like, bring them off! Not a big deal! Do you remember whenever the, the Dark Knight Rises shootings yeah. happened? When a lot of people were trying to go after, like, the movie itself, saying it was their fault, like in the commercials and how it incited yeah. fucking... Like Bane himself? Yeah, like it, it. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. He incited riots and fire rising in the streets! Yeah, bring out the fire. Look at Javi. He's actually on this. Yeah, dude. He's, he's fucking, fucking Detective he, Pikachu right. over here. He looks like he is, but he's actually on his phone texting somebody. Picture no, because he... he I'm, I'm trying... I'm try, I don't have a notepad thing on my phone, but I'm trying to like go by that. Oh, you're trying to decipher it right now? Yes. You do have a notepad on your phone. I can't access it because I don't know how. I don't see it. You're like a like an old lady playing with a PC who doesn't know how you to work it. See that right there where it says notes? Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what? Huh? How does, how does notes oh, work? Oh, what do you... Oh, I mean, but you. have you ever been, have you ever had a fear of your life while at work? Have Man, you ever had anything no. like this happen? I, I, okay, so I don't have any irrational fears. I'm not afraid of snakes or clowns or ghosts mm -hmm. or fucking anything like that. I'm afraid of real life things, like going to jail. Afraid of police. Mm. This shit right here, this is fucking child's play to me. Come on, bro, bring it for real. <laughs> like, if you, like... <laughs> <laughs> They'll fucking send me a letter and be all cryptic. <laughs> Just fucking tell me what you want to do. Kill me or kill me or don't. Like, I don't fucking... Well, that's... Have you... Did you call the cops or anything? No, why would I? 
There was no, there's no return address. I mean, he signed the shit, but like, what am I gonna? We're do? fucked because so, if he, eventually, if they do go, our hand, or our fingerprints are all over this now. Oh, it could just be a fucking somebody who's truly devout and wanting to spread the message of God. Maybe the code is God is love or some shit like that. You think this is like a Jehovah's? And then all of a sudden, we we solve it, and we're all three born again Christians <laughs> immediately. <laughs> An angel comes down and he's just like, oh shit, you wrote the note. And here I'm going to present to you the foundations of angels of heavens of angels of heavens of foundations of heavens and angels and angels of foundations. It's got to be derpy angel. It's yeah. got to be, you can come to me. Go to gay heaven. <laughs> Did you say gay heaven? <laughs> Oh my god, what does gay heaven look like? Get in here, boy. St. <laughs> Pete is uh, opening up the door. Yeah. Oh. Mm. There's a holy meeting to the pearly gates. Alright, so what do you got on that? Well, according to my findings, Duck, uh, I've managed to spell out a lab. Like a, a, a lab? Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe this, was, maybe this was written in a lab. Yeah, a secret What lab. if this is like written by a meth head? Yeah. Well, I almost guarantee it was. I mean, you know. What if it was actual mad scientist? <laughs> of angels and yeah. demons. Like an heavens. alchemist. It's alive, it's alive. Well, I mean. He discovered how to make gold out of like mixing Pepto-Bismol with fucking <laughs> K.O. Peptate or something. <laughs> And he made a money bin yeah. and he's jumping it like screwed and he just wants to send it out like that fucking Nigerian prince who wants to share his money like <laughs> it's a big letter <laughs> this is all chain mail is what this is it would be great if you got through the whole thing and at the end it said send a dollar to it's a, it's actually a coupon for Arby's I want to be this part of I want to be surprised if this is like a Christmas story situation where you decide for it's just like sure to get your oval. Exactly. Let's <laughs> take it to Arby's exactly and it. see what happens. Right. Uh, yeah, I was sent this. Yeah. They're like, oh, guys, yeah. we knew this day would come. Yeah, yeah here. Get all, get all the cheese melts ready. They come out and they come out in robes and they go, oh, ho, 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 see sauce. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bobby, put it away. Let's talk about the next thing. Oh, man, I kind of want to figure this out. Man. All right, we'll look at it later. Yeah, let, let's move on and actually, whenever we're done recording, we'll look at this. And yeah, see if we hell can yeah. figure it the fuck out, and then right. we'll come back on doing a denim. We'll be like Detective Pikachu, like yeah, you said. Yeah, exactly. Which, let's just talk about that real quick. Jake, you saw Detective I Pikachu. I did see Detective Pikachu. Uh, how, do you, how do you feel about the Pokemon movie live action? I had no expectations for this movie yeah. whatsoever because oh, no, I'm not a Pokemon fan. Never played it. Never it was Pokemon dope. Go, nothing like it that. It was a really good movie. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to get too much into it because I didn't see it. Right. But I want to see it. But at the same time, do you think it's going to hold up and there will be sequels? As a person who had no expectations, do you think if you had expectations, you would have been like, fuck this? Or do you think it's Pokemon The Go, way this went... one ends, I mean, yeah, it it's, could. It could. Spoil it. It's spoilers. Who gives a fuck? It's a Pokemon movie. So the reason why he sounds like Ryan Reynolds is because Mewtwo fucking swapped his dad's mind into Pikachu. And they're looking for his dad, but it's his... Pikachu is his fucking dad all along, and it's actually what? it's actually Ryan Reynolds at the end. He gets his fucking body like back or whatever. No so it's shit, like it's crazy. Dog. Yeah, it's fucking it's insane. It's a total shaggy yeah. dog. Dude. Yeah, nicely done. Yeah, he yeah, never. And he doesn't so. tell the kid the whole time. He just like, he doesn't know. He had his memory wiped also. Ah, uh, and so but and he's like, dude, because nobody else could understand him. He's like he's talking normal, but everybody else just hears Pika Pika. Does he sound like his dad? His dad is Ryan Reynolds. That's why he sounds like so Ryan Reynolds. So why didn't he recognize his dad's fucking voice? He didn't he... know his dad that well. That, oh, that's what okay. I'm saying. Like, they did it well. Okay, so like, he, he was, uh, apart from his dad, whenever he was a little boy, he grew up with his grandmother. And then he found so out. So his dad's a piece of shit who becomes a Pikachu. Pretty much. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, fair enough. Yeah. I mean. Dick Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> The Pokemon in it was it cool? Was it cool <laughs> Dude, to see that? Yeah, yeah. I, I was really impressed. Like I said, worked. I'm not even a fucking a, a fan of the shit. I don't play Pokemon Go. I never played Red or Blue. Never watched the cartoons. But he played Yellow. You played Yellow? Oh, all the day, all day, <laughs> <laughs> all day or day. And then uh, it brought the prophecy on of yeah. angels and demons. I tried getting some Pokemon Pogs to keep keep up with the kids <laughs> oh, in school, yeah. but they were they were way past Pogs. I was like, I know y'all like those Pokemans, but <laughs> I got some Pogs. We can sing things over here. You can win them from me. I can take <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, but I can do that 
<laughs> I got these poke pounds. Come get them. <laughs> gotta collect them all. I imagine you as like a shady drug dealer coming out and like, a, like a, that thing. Like I got the poke pounds. Pokemon pounds. Come on, kids. Line up one by one. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I like Pokemon. I'm a fan of the original games. I like Pokemon Go when it first came out. Fuck yeah. yeah. So let's take it. Let's go right now. Let's take that with us and read it to everybody. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we, we'll get into Game of Thrones real quick, too, without spoiling. No spoiler. Just your main thought on the last episode. Huh? Yeah? Yeah. You can spoil it for me. I don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck? I don't care. You don't care? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I know. Um, like, I wish that I'm she, looking that for, I, she I, I've seen... A bunch of good episodes that I wanted to see, like ones that I should see. I know the story. I've already, I'm on Reddit and Imgur. Oh, like, so you already uh, know. A few times a day. I see fucking all this shit on Facebook, whatever else. I don't give a shit. Okay. So, Hobby. I really wish she would have lived. You wanted, I really you wish wanted, they wouldn't have killed me. You wanted Hottie McPants to God live. Damn, she's, fuck, she's gorgeous. Fucking fiddly fine. Oh, you're talking about uh, the Targaryen here. <clears throat> yes. Right? Okay, Khaleesi. The uh, dragon queen. Yeah. How did she die? Jon Snow, like, shanked her while making out with her. Ooh, nice. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very uh, because of what she did to uh, she became King's Landing or no, whatever. Not even joking, she became Hitler. Like the imagery was so on the nose. Yeah, whatever. it literally was just like rows and rows of Hitler soldiers, and she's up there saying, "Yeah, and hanging the dragons, the hanging." Yeah, and she literally was Hitler, and Jon Snow's just like behind her, just like, "Oh, I love fucking my aunt. Oh, this is wrong, but it makes it so much more wrong." Yeah, but she's and so then, hot. And then Tyrion comes out, and he's like, "Fuck you!" And he throws down his hand, of the, you know, the right hand of the thing, and the whole thing leads up to like she's alone in the throne room. She goes to touch the throne. And he comes and talks to her, and he's... Tyrion he, or John? John. Oh, Tyrion okay. gets thrown in, 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 like, the dungeon. Tyrion right? dies? No, no, he does not. So what happens is John goes into the throne room, and basically he tries to have that one last conversation. He can see that she's just turned heel, like, hardcore, yeah. and she's just pure evil. And he's, try, he's, he's in love with her, so he's trying to pull it out of her. And he realizes within her conversation, she goes, I am the ultimate... I will make these decisions. God damn and, Anakin. And the, yeah, exactly. And he uh, he grabs her, kisses her, and fucking gives her the old uh, gives her the old shank and in the back. Yep. No, in the front. Oh, like when they're making out, just fucking yeah, front shanks her, and then he fucks her, and it was really weird. I was like, what the hell are we yeah. watching? Did he and, fuck the knife wound? Yeah, yeah, he fucked the knife oh, wound. Yeah, was, I figured he would. And then, was, the then, books then I turned to my friends who were watching, with and him, then his like, dog, to leave. his dog licked the blood off after he was finished. Um. But yeah, it's 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 not so much that I was fine with that. It was the aftermath of what came after that. But you said for you, you didn't like the fact that she got she got taken out. I don't. I don't. This show really did a disservice to the characters that we spent years like forming a relationship to. Well, that's what but, happens whenever you go through and force something that isn't even fucking there. They're like, "Fuck George R. R. Martin." We're making the fucking shit up as we go along. Didn't have, didn't have a problem with Look that. What though. they do with Lannister, Jamie Lannister. This guy started out the series as a fucking prick. Uh-huh. And he had a solid redemption arc. And then when the shit came down, he was like, ah, psych! He's still a sister he was fucker. A, he, was, he was an addict. That's what it was. Well, it was you can't... An addict. The people like that can't be redeemed, though. No. Like, that's the whole character arc itself. You, he starts off as a piece of shit. You start to like him. You start to see that he's doing some good things. But all the way through and through, he's still a fucking sister fucker. And he says that. He, he says that at the end. He goes, I'm, I'm a bad person. And that's the bottom line. And I've fooled you into thinking I've done a couple good things. But baseline, I'm bad. I was fine with that. I was fine with everything this final season. No, he still ain't got your hand. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> literally, in, in the one episode, he's like waving at the people like, hey, look, I'm a laughter. <laughs> I literally, I don't have a problem with anything up until the last half of that episode. I felt like they dropped the ball, and it's simply because they didn't do what I wanted them to do. But Game of Thrones has never done what I wanted them to do. Oh, so yeah. I was fine with it. It's always, it's, it's been about exactly. subverting expectations. And I think that's the big thing is that, for me as a nerd, I turn on that now because Ryan Johnson really fucked up subverting expectations oh, yeah. for me. So I think yeah, that, that it, plays it, into that it. in itself is a plot device. Mm-hmm. You know, like uh, yeah, and that's the problem. Every, yeah, it, it, it's they're sometimes it's really getting wanna, out of hand. Sometimes honestly. I just want to see an '80s action movie where I know right. the three the good guys go to fucking win. Exactly. Yeah, like everything else. And at the end of this, Iron Man three, he the end is it shows where all the characters go. It pulls a token and then it, it like it has a little extended like they're going here, here, and here. And John basically gets the shaft as John always does, and that's the part that hit me. He, he's always the character that does the right thing. He is so much his uncle in that he's Ned Stark, and, and he always gets screwed over for doing the right thing. But this show has set up 
You do the right thing, you pay the consequences. This is allegorical in a very strong sense. But that's man. what There's I said. There's plenty they, of people that do the right thing all the time, and they the, he went back to the they get no gratification before. from it. They get no fucking appreciation from it, and you get. But he you does still get shit on. But if you think about it, he is the one character that kind of gets what he wants because that last scene, and it may not have been satisfying to me. Maybe I wanted to see him as king of everything. He's going to the north, taking his family the wildlings back to where they need to be from and he always felt more at home in the north than he did anywhere else yeah. if you think about it, winterfell he was fucked over his his uh, aunt didn't like him uh, and made his life miserable because you know that whole situation at the wall he he wasn't no, like as a bastard yeah he was a bastard he became oh, you know the, he became the leader of the night's watch but eventually you know they killed him literally killed him and so he wasn't at home there when the only place he was ever at home and accepted was the the true north so if you think about it, he actually wins in the end of it, he yeah. got what he wanted. He didn't want to be king, so I should be happy for him. Right. But at the same time, I'm just like, man, this guy keeps getting fucked over. But you have to look at that last scene and go, all right, he does, as he walks towards the north, he smiles. He sees it. Yeah. He's like, it's the first oh. time you see that he's actually satisfied. Right. So I should be happy for this guy. There you go. But I had to reframe that in my mind because I didn't want that at first. So he... If you look at his arc, he, he got washed away in a hurricane, ended up... Becoming a lumberjack, pretty much. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what is that from? Dexter. Oh, fuck Dexter. Then. You gotta think about it. He was never meant to be king. But he was. He was the rightful heir to the throne. He was, but he, he, didn't, want he, it. he didn't want it. He didn't want it. And that's the thing. Is he didn't want it. And the story of uh, Zora High, which is in the books, in the prophecy, he does actually fulfill the prophecy. He's basically the person who's supposed to bring balance to the force. He brings balance to all of it. Yeah. Also, the choice of Bran to be the king. At first, I was like, yeah, it makes a lot of fucking sense. But if he could see the future and see the past here and it was coming, why didn't he fucking tell them? They were like, you can be Lord of Winterfell. He's like, I don't want it. It was like, but you want to be king? It doesn't even fucking make sense. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, it, I think it'll just take time to come to peace with it. But at the same time, I don't understand why everyone's so angry about this last season. It really wasn't that bad. I know I, my friend Big Nick keeps talking about I think the coffee cup the, was a big yeah. I think that's threw people off. That, that's a real fucking like. Oh, we don't care about this show anymore. <laughs> you How would you not catch that? Yeah, there's yeah, six, the actors are sitting there. I know they sit there for hours at a time, especially in scenes like that. Whenever she doesn't have any dialogue, but literally she's fucking Amelia Clark is right in yeah. front of the fucking cup. Like she couldn't look up. She's probably pissed off at the DP you that day. <laughs> it was just like I'm not even going to tell him about this coffee cup. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see the YouTube oh, videos of like the cast being asked, how, "How did you like the end of your season?" And you could tell... And they were, like, looking at Brie Larson just going, this fucking bitch. God it was like damn. Brie Larson's situation. They are just like, yeah, it's great. Like, even the guy who plays Jon Snow is For- like, oh, it's disappointing. And then you could actually <laughs> see him, like, oh, oh fuck. I'm All just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's great. It's, it's just great. Faces, <laughs> what faces. Whoa. You guys hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Leaf blowers, bro. No, man. That's a fucking high-powered drone outside. Uh, they found out about the letter. <laughs> The FBI is here um, to fucking take it. But for real, like, it, it, I can understand the disappointment. And the other thing is, I wasn't disappointed by the season. If I would have been pissed off about this season, like it seems like everyone else is, I would have been pissed about this ending. I would have, like, been like, fuck this show, fuck everything they ever did, I'm out. Let me go buy this real quick, though, not yeah. counting one. Uh, but I wasn't disappointed with the season, so I was, I was okay with the ending. I was, like you said, meh, where I was just like, it, it took some acceptance. But I honestly don't know... If I if all of a sudden he was like an unhappy king, would that have been a better ending for this? It's like he didn't want it. It would have been a more tragic ending. I guess. I just don't know. And then with Tyrion too, where he was like, everyone's like, "Fuck you!" And then he was like, "Well, here's my idea." And they're like, "Okay, that works." Let's do that. Thing. <laughs> but whatever. But he became the hand of the Cripple King, so you're good. In, uh, like cin- cinematography wise, though, episode three, the Battle Winterfall. Oh, I don't man. understand why everyone hated that. That was awesome, was uh, dude. You gotta watch it. There's just like it's the craziest battle scene. There's just bodies upon bodies heaping on top of each other. Um, did who did the Rancor eat? Oh, the Rancor. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then he got killed, and the big guy came out. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things ever. Uh, his think, friends consoling over they're both crying. I think that was my favorite thing ever because it was uh, what George Lucas said the idea that even monsters somebody loves a monster. Oh yeah, I dude. love That's, that. That is a love that. that is a truly an iconic scene. I love that. I love that scene. when he just comes in. He's like, <laughs> for me, when his I was pet just fucking died. Yeah. I'd be like killing your fucking dog. Is what I it know, was. Dude. Yeah, it's awesome. fucking great. And for me, I think also I love Return of the Jedi. I I can see it's not. The perfect movie, but when I was a kid, all that behind the scenes shit where they showed the making of it and the puppetry, all those awesome. Muppets running around. As a like, child, Return of the it. Jedi was always my favorite. Yeah, dude. because 
I just think... all the fucking, like, a lot of really fucking cool moments. The entire Java's Palace scene is fucking amazing. Yeah. Oh, like, that's you so know, good. Then all of a sudden, what, we're on indoor, and they're wearing, like, camouflage and shit? Like, as a kid, <laughs> I was like, this is great! <laughs> Yeah, as I got older, I was like, okay, this was a plot, to, uh, this was a, a toy sales thing yeah. Oh, yeah. that was going on Absolutely. here. But uh, that's when I became, obviously, a bigger Empire fan. Do you think that it changes with time? I think when you're a kid, you love Jedi. As you get older, you start to realize how good Star Wars is. Yeah, but and then eventually you're like, Empire is that's the most, where it's at. like, the most real. It's real. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because nobody wins. Yeah. I think it does like, change. Yeah, it's bleak. Well, it's, it's dark. It ends on a fucking sh- footnote that's like, what? Like, where, where are they going to go now? Absolutely. Like, Real quick, before I go into our next subject, do you have anything else you want to add about Game of Thrones? Well, the Hound did die, and I appreciate I love the way he went out. He went, went out, out like a mouse. Mouse. I would have liked to see him lived. That fucking, that whole uh, thing where he's just like, fuck it, and they just go through the side he of He took out tower. the mountain. Yeah, pretty much. It and was they bad. Jumped, dove into a pit of fire. Yeah, yeah it was. And bad. it just proved Sandor could have taken his brother alive easily. Mm. I mean, because yeah, he fucking that. lit him up. He oh, lit him up before he even drew his sword. I mean, he was so fucking. Oh, it's good. so good, dude. He's got him so up the thing, and he's like well, he's poking out his eyes. Yeah, he's doing the fucking viper thing. Yeah. that's his signature move. He's a fucking wrestler. Oh, like that's so his good. finisher. And then he—you can see through his bloodied eyes. He looks yeah, at him. He like, yeah, he had one eye left, and he's just coming. Fuck it. He practically only had one eye left anyway. Oh, it was so good. Uh, and the other thing is, they changed the character. He didn't have his emo lock anymore. Now dude, he was I like full hair back. I, dude, like, I didn't uh, like the fact that he was like clean cut. His hair was actually dry. He looked weird. Like I'm used to like seeing like fucking dirty hound with his like. But yeah. we like we talked about that hair. scene where he says, "All right, get out of here. You want to become like dude, me? I all fucking that, love that all that's scene. coming for you is death." And he goes to walk off, and she goes, "Sandor," and she says his name, and that's what that moment I was like, "Oh shit!" I kind of got goosebumps. She said his name. Yeah, like she actually grew up enough to respect this. The other thing I was gonna say, okay, Jesus doesn't come back from the dead to fall in love with Hitler, kill Hitler, and then does not get rewarded for that. You know what I mean? So maybe he does eventually. His reward story. was the life that he wanted. I guess that is true. I guess he does win in the end because he gets to go do what he wants to do. Mm-hmm. So this talk about Endgame. That was awesome. That met all of our expectations. Game of Thrones, we kind of went, oh, shit, that's the other big end, you know. But that kind of went, Ugh. How is Star Wars going to do? What, where is our expectation level in Star Wars now I, uh, for, I, the, for the nerd trilogy of this year? Well, like I said, there's actually four, and I realize what the fourth one is. It's Jane Silent Bob reboot. Yeah. Now, I really want to see that, and that's not the of end of a, oh, a dude, big franchise. The but. cameos are going to be fucking outrageous I can't on this wait. one also. I cannot wait. It's going to be uh, You know who else we're getting in? Jay and Silent Bob reboot. Who? Brandon St. Randy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. From, From uh, Zach and Mary. Mary. Yeah. Oh, he was awesome. Listen Shut up. Shut your mouth Blood before Rovers. I fuck it. <laughs> Wait, is he actual? He's playing that character. Yes. Yeah. That, so Zach that, and Mary is connected to that universe. Apparently so. They're, they were made by View of Skew, weren't they? That no, movie? that no. one. I, I don't think that was a View of Skew universe. No, no. It was never. But this will connect it to yes, it. Yes, it will. I wonder if there's some way they'll connect Jersey Girl after all. Fuck it. And his other movies. Right. Too. Well, I mean, they're. Tusk is already going to be connected because I know Jay and Silent Bob were supposed to be in Moose Jaws. Yes, exactly. And yeah. that's what I was going to say. They were going to connect to this universe and yes. hopefully he'll still make Moose Jaws. I would God, love to he see just, that. Yeah, just connect all the just fucking movies. Just keep doing it. Just, just do make it, it for yeah. us. If he comes and he does what he did with Red State and he brings it through, through Dallas, hopefully we'll be able to go see him on stage yes. and talk to him and watch the movie. I want to see that movie. Oh, there. fuck yeah. Like we were talking about earlier, I saw the Angry Video Game Nerd movie yeah. in theaters. I will definitely pay... <laughs> Fifty to one hundred dollars for a ticket Easily. to go see this movie. Yeah, that is not even a big deal. Just bring it through. Let us see it. That'd yep. be awesome. But Star Wars, where is our expectation level at? For my Star bar Wars? is so low right now. So low. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> there. Javi cringed when I said it. Where's your expectations at? I got none. Well, I mean, none? after Last Jedi, you know, I really had hope after uh, <laughs> The Force Awakens. Damn, damn, you're good. See, what, what else can you do? I mean, I want to see how this empire ends. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Honestly, episode seven came out. It was like, fuck yes. Mm. They brought it back. Perfect episode three, but... eight. What the fuck did I just watch? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be really hard to retcon a lot of what Ryan Johnson did in that last one. I you mean, I am hopeful. It? The fucking trailer looks goddamn amazing. The title is fucking intriguing. It's fucking sexy. It's provocative. You don't fucking know what it means. <laughs> like, we're all like. What, uh, what does it mean? Rise of Skywalker, the last one, as we knew, died at the end of the last one. 
You know, like, what does that mean? We've talked about our theories. It could be a faith. It could be a resurrection. It could be I'm a, hoping he's a like passing a, of a torch. Like I said, I hope be... he's a godlike creature, and he comes back, and he's just like, you will all be fucked. A like I said, God. Shao Kahn at the and end of the Mortal Kombat. Brian and Johnson photoshopped in there, and he's killing him also yeah. with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> like... uh, I'm, I'm, my expectations are low because it's one fucking movie. And they're not boasting a three-hour time limit, so I'm guessing... We don't know like anything about it at all. Probably two hours, it might, maybe under an hour and a half. Bro, it might be... How long was Last Jedi? It was like two and a half hours, right? Yeah. That's a long I feel like J.J. will fucking do like a three-hour movie to fucking make this right. Especially Studio after executives will get behind this also, seeing the success of... Of Endgame. Or, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Studios will fucking cut you, make you edit for time. They want it to be a fucking uh, hour 45 minutes right on the fucking nut. Right on the dick. Right on the dick. But it's like, you gotta think about, like, I've always wanted to see Reed turn. I don't think she's gonna turn. Not in, not in that short time. So it's kind of like, you know, I think it's gonna be a movie where it's gonna be like, okay, this might have been a little bit too much in one movie. I think for me, I just want to see Palpatine at this point. I'm fine with it. I think a lot of people have been saying, just give it fan service. I know you've said yeah. that quite a bit. Just do fan service. Yeah, do Who what gives the a fans fuck? want you to do. Just do fan service. You don't you have, have to rewrite this. You have so have many change. of a collected group of people that are dedicated to like franchises. I mean, we're talking in the millions in right. some cases. I mean, look, there's a pillow and, right there. Yeah, exactly. There's but I'm just saying, up there. and these people are online talking about how they want these movies to go. Why would it be so far fetched to fucking look at some of these things and compile a great story? And you're doing what they fucking want you to, and you're gonna make so much more money because those motherfuckers are gonna go back and see it. I three. Can. Four, again, five again. times. Like, they're not thinking about They're just thinking about the fucking opening weekend. And mm-hmm. just like, oh, I don't care. Let's just well, it's a time crunch. It's a time crunch thing, too. But yeah. I think with Endgame, they made the right decision. And I think they'll make this decision also to make it hopefully a longer movie. I think that we're going to see all three trilogies put together in some fashion. Uh, right. I think Palpatine is the key. I think we are going to see... Anakin is a good force ghost in some way. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's rumors uh, of Hayden being on the set exactly. and doing all that shit. And hopefully he'll actually, maybe this is what buys it back. Because obviously he's had a long time to become a better actor. Maybe right. he comes in and he kills it. And you're just like, oh, yeah. That would be cool, right? right? Yeah. And at this point, I think we would all accept it. Time heals a lot of wounds. And so, like, I just want to see a completion of it. Y'all watched that fan edit oh, yeah, of the sweet. scene on the Death Star. Oh, you didn't sweet. watch it? I fucking, I made He's it about such to. a fucking know. point on that I, goddamn I thread that okay. afternoon. I watched some goddamn validation because it was so fucking badass. You didn't even take the time to fucking watch it. <laughs> Fuck you. You're a shitty friend. I hate you. Okay, but we're going to watch it right Let's now. Let's watch it. <laughs> Boom, baby. Hops. Yeah. Number one, why did it take you so long to watch that? I don't know. I just got busy. <laughs> Number two, Fine. what do you think of that? That was fucking dope. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. Especially when he was getting up and he hear like, you have my brother that again. Oh, yeah. I love that. I was like, oh, shit. He should have said, I have the high ground. They did everything right on. You underestimate my power. And what I liked about it was the narrow hallway fight. We've never seen that. Oh, no. That's, that worked. Well, that- they're more realistic. Like, yeah, the fighting style. It, you know, I like that. When that what's that these, called, real quick? Uh, that's uh, Star Wars Scene Thirty Eight Reimagined. Okay, if you're a fan of any of the Star Wars, especially Episode Four, New Hope, you should watch this scene. It's amazing. It's pretty much the Obi Darth Vader fight where it wasn't much of a fight instead, at all. Instead, instead of just going yeah. like, "Hey, I got this yeah, broomstick just, and we're fighting." Yeah, he swung a wiffle wall bat yeah. at him, and then a rope dropped. <laughs> pretty yeah, exactly. much, just I'm, like, I'm a Jedi Knight. It's fight. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, they didn't know where they were going with it back then, and that was still revolutionary at the time, but now that we're all so, I guess, evolved mentally, uh, even in our combat shit we and everything that else action, like that. Baby. Yeah, we need Yeah, exactly. That. We crave this shit. Like, oh, well, that was kind of weak. But, I mean, for my money... That's pretty good. Yeah, I will fucking yeah. take it. They, and they do modern fighting style, modern sword fighting style, much like they did with the lightsaber fight in... Um, the last, last of Jedi. the Jedi. Yeah, pretty much, whatever. I want to see some new shit with Star Wars. That's yeah. cool. Do the narrow... Uh, uh, they the kind of did. Do the uh, but it was different scene. than what you're imagining because it was light phase doors that were shutting off as they were chasing Darth love Maul it. down the fucking tunnel. Yeah. Freaking yeah, love Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. The that's end, a great fucking scene me, where they're the, trying to catch up. They're all on the fucking timer. The Phantom Menace does two things very well. Pod racing scene removed. And you got to remember, pod racing, he wanted that for the original movie. That yeah. was something he wanted to put in. I like the pod racing scene. The pod racing scene is one of the best edited 
parts of that movie or parts of the the prequel trilogy. And plus, we met uh, one of the announcers for. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I freaked little him out. Did Greg, I tell you that? Greg I think Prince. I was all fucked up on drugs or something. And I came up to him and I was like, "Hey, Greg Rubes, it's nice to meet you." I literally <laughs> pulled a Gary Busey on. I was like, "That's a major friend." It's like okay. And he was like, uh, "Just step aside here." Uh, but I also think the Duel of the Fates final. Oh my scene, god, it's awesome. Well, the the score obviously Amazing. is a huge fucking part, and that's another thing that gives me hope. About this new one is John Williams said he watched a rough cut of like twenty minutes of it and felt very inspired to create new music. For awesome! It. Oh shit! I used to think of John Williams, and every time I hear his name, I'd be like, "Oh, you know, it's John Williams, the composer of all these epic, you know, Star Wars and Indiana Jones and Jurassic Park, and just love his music." And now, every time I hear his name, I think his son is the lead singer, the singer of, of the band Toto in uh, Road Africa. I don't know why I was thinking that. Oh, no. but he yes. also did the Entertainment Tonight theme. But it, did he? That was John Williams? You don't remember that episode? He blew was everything. Like this. I do know that the guy who did the score for Endgame was the guy who did the score for Back to the Future. Did Alan Silvestri. Know? Yeah, that was yeah. crazy. And I thought, oh, that's genius that they tied that in, plus then they got the guy who actually scored it. It was on did, so many levels. Yeah. Oh, so I was thinking about the name Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here's my thing. This, this is going to be my official prediction before this movie comes out in December. Rise of Skywalker, meaning it's going to be Ben Kenobi. Kylo Ren. Kylo Thick Bitch Ren? Yep. All right. Uh, Skywalker's going to come back. Anakin's going to come back. And Princess Leia, they're all going to like team up and finally take out Palpatine when he like emerges through Rey. That is so far-fetched. That's not going to happen. That's going to happen. That is That's so not very happen. far-fetched. You watch. They're going to be all like Force Ghosts and shit. That's... Uh, I, you know what? I thought that was an awesome and idea. Gonna, like, Evidently, their... no one else liked that idea but us. Because I was like, bring in the Force Ghosts! It's, it's going to be like, oh, yeah. like all Skywalker for, Force Ghosts, and they're going like, to put all their power into Kylo Ren, and it's going to be like a massive duel between like... They probably like, won't do it, though. I like that idea, but that's not going to happen. Gonna, it's going to happen! They already did it in Harry Potter. There's no way they're going <laughs> to How did it happen in Harry Potter? The, the Goblet of Fire at the end, whenever his uh, parents okay. are standing he there. He didn't get his parents' powers, though. They just like distracting. Kind of, because they're like, just love us more, Harry, love us more. He's like, I love you so much. And then he got back. You clearly didn't watch (laughs) <laughs> you clearly don't know what happens. You clearly don't know what happens. I I just remember them being like, Harry, don't jerk off so much we can see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Harry. <laughs> Hermione's your friend, Harry. That's Ron's girlfriend. You're a wizard, Harry. Quit <laughs> jerking it like a muggle. Yeah. <laughs> Use your magic. <laughs> My God, I know everyone else has family to go home to on Christmas, but God damn. <laughs> the amount of jerking off and thinking of Hagrid. How dare you? I, I don't right, think Harry they'll wizard. do it. But I also didn't think they bring back Palpatine, so... Yeah, we already knew... I, I thought I, I thought that uh, him showing up at the Star Wars celebration and or, or playing the clip, I thought that already th- is confirmed that Palpatine Oh, he's in. in. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Or it's going to be reversed, where Palpatine like, puts all his sh- power into fucking Kylo Ren, and he becomes super powerful, hence the rise of Skywalker. Well, there was a theory that he just wanted to continue through. He wanted to use Vader as a vessel. Maybe he and actually is Darth Plagueis. I think that that could be possible. And like I said, he is technically a Skywalker, even though not in name. But if he created Anakin, he is technically the great grandfather. So right, I do. I, I I read this theory recently that he uh, impregnated uh, Shmi mm-hmm. Skywalker <laughs> via force <laughs> from Hook. <laughs> It is Shmi Skywalker. No, it is. No, it's, it's so funny. Yeah. It's like, but yeah, he, he impregnated. He, uh, he used the Force. The story of Dark Plagueis yeah. that he tells in episode three. That's definitely where he came from. It's right. the midichlorians and blah, blah, blah. Boo. I, I know, uh, you rolled your eyes and you're so right. As I said it, I rolled my eyes. He's <laughs> yeah. like, fucking midichlorians. It's so well, funny because George it. Lucas said recently, he's like, oh, uh, I was going to make the uh, final trilogy about midichlorians. <laughs> he's like, it's... <laughs> Like, didn't we have enough of the God blood disease? You. Calm down. Yeah, seriously. They're mutant freaks now. They're not just like sidekicks or anybody can wield the force. That one little kid's a mutant freak Even- and he's lifting up the broom. Like, I thought they stopped making these degenerates. Even Ryan Johnson was like, mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, what was the theory that you read recently? The story of Dark Plagueis. It was the same one that we're talking about is that uh, Palpatine is the one who used the force to impregnate right. me, Skywalker, to. Procreate it sounds so fucking. dirty. It sounds like force rape when you say it that way. Uh, did he jerk I mean, off what his, is like, it? And, like, use yeah. Force power and, like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. He pushed it into her back from like a hundred miles away with the force push. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. <laughs> See? Okay, this is, oh, God. Oh, bless bless yeah. the reins. <laughs> no, he just does the die oh. shoot. But that's what I'm saying. It, so, technically, he is the forefather of the entire family. Force so, father. The force father, the, very nice, of the entire family. So, 
I, I guess it does come on that woman. Oh, God. So does that mean that each and every Skywalker? I mean, she did get raped in the second movie, right? When she was at the oh sand yeah, people. the sand people. Like, totally. Straight up, they, that's why not... Anakin hates sand so much. They got <laughs> sand in the small of the badge. <laughs> So, you gotta hear about her bitching about that. that, that all the Skywalkers. Miserable fucking bike ride all the way home with her. <laughs> <laughs> so that means all the Skywalkers have the blood of a Sith running through them then. I really don't Bro, know. Bro, who yeah. knows at this point? What are they gonna do? They, Were they the gonna only, Game of Thrones this and fuck The only gosh. person who. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, the only person who knew, like, what. Well, Star Wars was really about was George Lucas, and we all decided that he didn't even know what the fuck <laughs> Star Wars was about. Well, that's what so happens like, with this fandom. Yeah. We're seeing it. A lot of us enjoyed Endgame because it was pure fan service. How they did it, I have no idea, but they pulled that off. That was a, uh, yeah, that was a rabbit in the head. That was a magic trick. Right. Lightning in the bottle, like I said. Game of Thrones, the fans have turned against it. We're just like, we love this shit. Fuck this shit. Yeah. And same thing that happened with Star Wars recently. We still love it. It still has a wonderful place in our but past, it's, our it's, nostalgia. But it's we're just... split the class in half, though. Oh, absolutely, one. definitely. Yeah, like 100%. It, there was a, it put a total rift. I in mean, the nerdum. Fandom. I think, and I think their idea is like, okay, we're going to finish this off. We'll do fan service, and then we're going to do these TV shows and build off of that. And then the Game of Thrones guys get the next trilogy of movies. Which now it's just going to be the the same thing. Where just everyone's going to be like, "Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you." But they have a clean slate, so hopefully it'll work out. Or do they? And no. this is all a ploy to just be like, "Well, episode nine isn't the end. Now we got episode ten, eleven, twelve, and they continue the story." Do we want a continuation of the story? No, no. I want this to be wrapped up in a nice, neat little package, a, a nice fitting into it, like a nice... like Endgame did to the entire fucking Infinity Saga. But fuck, man. But you, fuck man. No, but I'm just saying. But I think fuck man. man. <laughs> That's a weird superhero. I'm <laughs> so here to get yeah. this done. Can somebody call my name. <laughs> but fuck man. I here. Think when it comes to like the Star Wars thing, I think I'm in the Marvel Weird House more than I am Star Wars. Like completely. Like, I think it was just because of the time. Like 11 years, bam, 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 like two or three movies a year. I mean, they got the 22 movies before they finished it off. Like yep. it's like 40 years for what yeah. 12 movies. Yeah. Yeah. And even some of them like. Mm. Yeah. Right. We'll see. I mean, honestly... It's like, I think that's why my expectations are so low. They're, they're nice really enough. low, and it's just like, what can you possibly do? But let's talk about that. Endgame, <laughs> it didn't meet our expectations. Right. It made us happy. The two movies back-to-back, -back, Infinity War and Endgame, was like the perfect combination. Right. You got your Empire Strikes Back, and then you got your... You could say Return you of the Jedi. You got your cake, but, and you got to eat it, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, it really is good. We know that Spider-Man Far From Home is going to be the actual conclusion where you deal with the aftermath. That's the end of phase That's right. your Tolkien 30 minutes, Frodo and Sam looking like they're going to suck each other off more. Right. right. There was the a King. very Return of the King feel to the end of Endgame also. Yeah. We got three different fucking endings practically. And, and now we're going to be moving into the multiverse. Or are we? My theory on that is it's not the multiverse. That's just Mysterio fucking with them. And I also, like I told you guys, the I, think, room. I think Fury... No, I really think Fury is Chameleon. Chameleon's in, in it. Yeah. yeah, we know he's in it, so I think that's him disguise. Wow. So They've already introduced four villains within Spider-Man Homecoming. They had Vulture, Shocker, uh, Tinkerer, and the Prowler. Right. And then I am the Scorpion, also, so that's five right one there. one more thing. Well, Sony still has a good part of this character. They're just in collaboration with the MCU on this right now. So theoretically, the Kraven could totally be in this, and that would also be a great propellant for Sony to have their... Craven movie. Why MCU would do that if they don't own the character, though, however. You've got to go for the big bads. Like like I said, Spider-Man's rogues gallery is comparable to Batman's yeah. rogues gallery. You've got the biggest and baddest so, and sweetest costume villains To me, ever. obviously, Doc Ock. Got to have Doc Ock. Yeah, Hawk. that's, he's the, that's main the, one. the I always antithesis of everything Green that Goblin? Uh, Peter Parker is. I mean, the, who's closer Those to two. Yeah. Those two were the top fucking big bads. Like, exactly. You got to use those characters. Does this open up the avenue for if they do not renew their deal with Marvel? Two things. Number one, do they go multiverse and kick them over to Sony and then they connect Venom and Morbius and all that shit and he exists within their universe and he's no longer connected to the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Does yeah. that open that option for them? I don't think that Marvel or Disney would allow that at all. But they, they, they don't really have a choice if they, Sony has the right to the characters. So right. They well, they might, be, but they can't take Tom Holland because he's under contract with. But he's under contract with both. The way it works is he's contracted Damn. through Sony. That's weird. And it's yeah, because they, he was going to, they were talking about him being in the Venom movie also. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This could be their out the pool, their Spider-Man that's working yeah. into their universe and go, now he's over here, he's not connected to that universe, fuck you. Secondly. What fucking assholes? Fuck you, Sony. Just so fucking Marvel, Marvel, you fucking okay. cocks. Secondly, does this open the option, if they do that, to put Miles Morales... 
who, if you use that five-year gap, would have aged up into a place where he could be the new Spider-Man. He could be brought in through the multiverse if that actually turns out to be something that is a thing also. Because honestly, they were talking about adding Tom Holland, Andrew Garfield, and... Toby McGuire into into the Spider Verse, but they were afraid that? people. I would be I all for it. Every that. iteration of Spider Man, they already had every other one. Why not the movie ones? I do like the fact that uh, Tom Holland was Peter B. Parker, but just older. That got confirmed. Wait, from from what? And and to the Spider Verse, the older Spider Man. Yeah, oh, Chris yeah. Pine. You mean? That, yeah, right. Chris Pine. No, 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 no. One. not Chris Pine. Jake Johnson. Jake Johnson. Okay, that is Tom Holland's character, Spider Man. Oh, okay. Up. Yeah. Well, shit, I didn't know that. Well. So they can confirm it off screen if they want, just like Tom Holland confirmed that he was the little Iron Man that Iron yeah, I like Man that a saved. Lot. That's a really good premise. Well, let's talk about, we had a conversation on Facebook Messenger oh, about yeah. Endgame. The yeah. plot hole aspect of what really happened when people got dusted and then they came back after that five year gap. It was whatever the like a different realm because like Peter where Parker they said, were I woke up and Doctor Strange was there. Where they were when the snap happened? Did they come back? And where them? they came back? Where the unsnapping? Okay, so when they I got unsnapped, did they immediately dust back to whatever location I, they were in? I, I'm almost positive that they did because you can look at the different portals that Doctor Strange opened up, and clearly Black Panther and Shuri or Okoye or whatever are coming out of Wakanda. Wakanda. Clearly, Peter Quill. And Spider Man are coming out of Titan. Yep. Okay. So, so if, from that we can already assume. Now, what we we character wise wasn't a big deal. What we're talking about is half the population of the world that got snapped away and got resnapped in. Now, there's a five year gap, and they kind of deal with that at the beginning with the guy who's talking about going on a date, right? And he says, you know, I miss my husband. I went on this date. What if it, all of a sudden his husband's back, and he's got to deal with the fact that he's been dating this guy and sucking his dick yeah. and all that stuff. How does that work within relationships? Let's right. Say you were married. Your, your wife gets snapped, you, you know, and all of a sudden she's back and you're remarried. I mean, five years is a long fucking there's time. There's so many fucking questions <laughs> as to That's what, what I'm the saying. fuck happens here. So what okay. happens? You get you get remarried, okay? Look at you're <laughs> you're a fucking insurance salesman. What about fucking life insurance policies? <laughs> All right, we How the that fuck out. does that fucking I work? I believe you owe me some money. Yeah, yeah do they, does the insurance company... Well, like, first of all, do they work? pay out on that? Because that in the stipulations is getting snapped in the dust part of your policy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you keep in mind. It has to fall under the guidelines of the policy. I want to know, if you were serving a life sentence in prison, are you legally required to be set free after you got unsnapped? Are you? Because like my nah. life technically ended, so there was my that was me completing my life sentence. I would like my freedom, please. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think that's how that works. You don't think? You don't think no. you get freed after that? Oh well, did, well, I mean, you know, I mean, all right, five the years prisons, sentence, five the years prisons sentence. are a thriving business right <laughs> now. You know, they're making money off of having people in there, and that snap took away half their population. <laughs> yeah, they want all those motherfuckers <laughs> back. I'm just all right, saying. five year sentence. You get snapped. You're brought back five years later. Did you serve your five years, or do you got to start over fresh? Well, I was fucking dead, so I would hope that death kind of negates. That's what I was hoping too, but that's what they say, they say they say no, fuck that, it doesn't. Yeah, because you know what? It felt like it was thirty seconds for all of them. Yeah, yeah, because it was the time period thirty minutes yeah. or something like that. Thirty seconds. But I guess if you could just, if enough people got the common sense to lie about, like, oh, we're trapped in there forever, <laughs> like, goddamn. All right, does that change religion too? You get of snapped, course it does. You get snapped. You go to nothingness because that's what Peter Parker said. It was yep. like thirty minutes of darkness or whatever. You come back. Does that change? Like all of a sudden, like, well, we can't do the church thing because there was nothing after the snap, and yeah. now fifty percent of the population now, knew it. If, 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 We're all Jesus. everybody gets brought back, and they're like, "Oh shit, Christianity was the right way all along." <laughs> they can all just come back from the dead. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all got resurrected. Yeah, so everybody obvious. becomes devout Christians. I think it changes. Do you think there is religion within that universe still? Different kinds of religions. I think they fucking uh, worship superheroes. Yeah, I mean, we kind of do that already. Yeah, honestly. Okay, let's talk about the relationship okay. aspect. What if you're married and you disappear for five years and you come back and your wife is remarried? What happens? Oh, your wife? Yeah, dude. Especially if you come. Dude, but it's only so like, you're still in love with this no, person. Know, she I'm, fell in love with somebody okay, else. Let me go through this logic. Five years and your fucking spouse died. That is too soon. 
I mean, if you like to be remarried, oh to my. be remarried, that's fucking Are you fucking kidding no. me? People get remarried after me? two or three years after a death. Yeah, bro, people like two years, years later. Yeah, people grieve. Like, uh, yeah, Somebody exactly. moves in it's like a creeper. It's unhealthy if you fucking are still mourning five years later. Yeah, dude, people it get really remarried is. quick. Like, seriously, like, look how upset Javi is. Javi is very upset about dude, this. It, He's all trust me, He won't even I, look at me. Trust me, people move <laughs> on and they'll they'll be remarried. Five years doesn't seem like a long time, but five years is a long time. It is a very long time. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, you come no, back. I can see just like one like companion. But is that exactly. the weird sitcom thing where you come back and your wife is remarried and you're trying to get Whoa. back into the family? That would be the most yeah. depressing sitcom And then ever. Spider-Man shows up delivering a pizza. He's so, like, sorry but, guys. Uh, that's a sitcom that would appear in that world though. Oh, dude. Yes. We need that. Disney Plus. Yeah. We write that shit. Right. <laughs> but like inside that universe... They would be watching that sitcom after the fucking oh, step is what be. I'm saying. Like, it oh, changes honey. everything. Oh, yeah. man, fuck. All right, so that's, here's our other thing. What if you're, like, kidnapped by a serial killer at the time who wrote this letter? The yeah, exact same of course. Letter, yeah, exactly. And he's got you in a basis, sir, and you snap away. You and, better put a guy that he didn't snap away with you. I'm just saying, has he moved on after right. five years? Or right. Like there's, what if he lived the... Yeah, serial okay, killers so, don't go away just well, because Well, it's not even snap. that. It's just so many different things. Let's, let, let's, let's put it this way. So many buildings are torn down, remodeled every fucking day what if of the gets, fucking year. You right. can get phased into a goddamn wall Whoa, like you're in the exactly. goddamn Philadelphia experiment. Exactly. Everybody that's on a fucking train... A plane. Oh, they just dropped. A fucking boat. A He's so ship. Right. Like they're just spawning back. Like people that were on a train are going to end up in train tracks and get fucking destroyed by a train. People will be falling out of the fucking sky. Wait. People in fucking cruise ships are going to end up in the middle of fucking water out of fucking nowhere. Like ocean. exactly. Okay, so at any given time, there's like a million people in the sky at a time. Yeah. Like there's like, That's a lot. there's like fucking 25,000 planes in the air at any moment. Probably more than that. Half the pilots are all fucking dead That's also. What I'm Crash. So where do you respawn? Do you respawn in the air? Yes. I Falling think by train. our theory, yeah. you respawn yeah. wherever you dust you, it you, from. You, right. I think you respawn where their location is. Like, right. like their location is going to be the inside of the plane. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be its final destination. Like if it crashed. But the plane's not there anymore. It didn't get snapped. So they just didn't Yeah, the they, they, they jerked it out. I'm saying they reappear where they drifted. Yeah, so they're gone. So, like, the if the plane gone. isn't right there at that fucking moment, they're not going to get caught back in. So, you're telling me that was a point that it could have been raining like 500,000 people. Yes, yes. that's exactly that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> yes. That's exactly oh what the fuck I'm getting yes. at. All right. And we know for a fact when they wrote the script, because there's a smodcast out where he talks to the writers, Marcus and Mafili, and they talk about there was a point where they wrote a version of the script and when they snapped everyone back or they unsnapped them, they showed up there at the Avengers headquarters. Millions of people. They're like, well, we couldn't do that, that's, obviously. But that is that, so, that just gave me goosebumps. So it gives like, you that would be great. It gives you the option. Yeah, it'd be a lot more people in that army in that, that fight scene at the end. Right. But it gives you the option. Like, I'm pierced. I've been <laughs> gone for thirty <laughs> seconds. I don't know what happened, but I'm killing you. Years? What's up with my death, bitches? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're working on the theory. We don't know. Maybe Spider Man Far From Home tells us exactly where they, yeah. they, they take care of that. Hopefully, hopefully. so. Because, but I mean, what, our theory what are the odds that all of his friends were in the snap with him? You know what I'm saying? Very low. But yeah, I mean, time. well, I mean, it's kind of believable, I guess, if it's half the population. Well, that was my theory. Did Aunt May disappear? Did Aunt May disappear? Or was she there fucking uh, she had the funeral? Uh, Happy Hogan the whole time? Was she at the funeral? She was She was, I was going to say. So... But she, was she five years without Peter Parker? Ooh. And then he comes back and she's yeah. just like... She's like, oh, you've yeah, been for five on. years, and I've been fucking yeah. a lot. Like, yeah. you know, and no. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. And happy's yeah. happy. Yeah, and happy's very happy. I, we're both happy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, what other scenarios did we have? Uh, our I, ba- I think I have the most fucked up one. Like, what okay, if, what's like, in there? A baby's about to be born, and the doctor dusts, and like the woman just oh, like yeah. pushes That's the baby out of. Uh, like, so you lose the doctor and the fucking baby. <laughs> so like, but I, the doctor responds. <laughs> well, no, like this, like the doctor gets snapped, and then like the baby's about to fall, and then the baby gets dusted mid fall. So that means when it gets reset, it's like plack. Uh, <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> so, yeah. Like well, there are just, so many fucking <laughs> odd circumstances like this that we could just fucking imagine well, in our fucking head. Well, that we talked about like. Like if you're carrying around a child and all of a sudden you get snapped, that child plops on the ground. Or if you're shopping and all of a sudden you're just like the baby's just sitting in the cart crying by themselves. What if you're in a fucking horrible, horrific moment, the moment that you get snapped out of existence, like somebody caught in a fucking wood chipper and they get reset <laughs> and you're like, ah, goddamn, I thought it was not like, <laughs> oh, that's like, terrible. 
because you would black out. Right. And nothing is. You come back. You're like, it's not over. But, but the wood chipper wouldn't be there. But after that's all the same. You get what I'm saying. The like, serial killer. Things. If you're in chains or bound, do you yeah. snap back into those chains and you're bound again. But I if think you, go you would a, just like be snapped back into that location. So that's the one win situation where you're caught by a serial killer and all of a sudden you're not bound anymore. And you're yeah. just like, I'm out of this. Bitch. Yeah. Fuck and, and five years, he probably moved on. They're probably like a whole they bunch of bodies on him. him. Or yeah. he's actually the new supervillain in the fucking universe. And so here's what started the whole conversation. We were saying, what if you were jerking off and you're just like going to town and all of a sudden you start snapping? You're like, oh no, oh no, I got a fish. Yeah. Oh no. Also, yeah. What? What have you reached out? Do you do you finish doing what you were doing? Exactly. Like you said about the fucking doctor giving birth to the baby. So if it, you're jacking off and then all of a sudden you get snapped back here, you're like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you all of a sudden oh, you're in a oh, fucking oh, you're, in a, <laughs> you're in a goddamn brand new elementary school kindergarten. <laughs> like, 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 oh, what are your kids doing here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I enjoy you watching, but no! Oh, God, that's fucked up. That's what I said. If you say it was this apartment, I'm sitting here jerking off. All of a sudden, I come back. Other people will be living yeah. in this apartment within five years. I'm just right. sitting here with my pants down, going right. to town on myself, and they're just like, as a family of five, looking at me. I'm just like, huh? And obviously, huh? they huh? wouldn't realize that this, the unsnapping happening. They wouldn't know. Because exactly, you're the first one back that they're going to see. Obviously, it's going to be the news later. Like, well, everybody's brought back. Awesome. But they're like, oh, yeah, also, so, there's like thousands of uh, puns, millions of people dead. I wanted to the be street. like that really bad newscast after it was like, so there I was jerking off. Oh, and all God. of a sudden, we're I also just... want to know, was like, let's say. I was in there touching my naughty business. <laughs> that chick is blowing the guy that like, he finishes on her face. When that guy, if that guy gets dust, does she like have dust like coming off? Oh. Face? That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, he's about to come, and his sperm that was gonna create a baby gets dusted out, and he's fine. <laughs> he's still there with the chick. And he's like, "Well, that was a close one." Because <laughs> based on Georgia law now, that yeah. is, I think that's a thing. Right. Yeah, but if you're tapping that ass, and all of a sudden she disappears, do you try to get in the last couple of you know taps it's before like, she Don't goes? Don't dust this down. I want to dust myself. <laughs> And especially... <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to nut dust. Even better when she reappears five years later. She bent over in the bed still? Like, yeah. Mom, yeah. She's, <laughs> she just read what? it. What? <laughs> uh, Mom, there's a naked lady with an ass in the air. There's this la- naked lady and Haitian right oh, now in the bed. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, God. Any other scenarios you guys can think of? That's, that That was... <laughs> well, I mean, with Georgia law, you know, there's got to be some, like, really happy mother oh, or to-be yeah. mother self. That's what they talked about. What if you're, you have a yeah. shitty kid and the shitty kid dusts away and you're just like, oh, shitty kid's gone. Yeah. Five start years, man. Me and my mom, we're making new kids that are better than that last little <laughs> asshole. We're going to train them right. situation? What about if a mo- lady like, was pregnant? He's by- back. He's at the same goddamn age. Also, <laughs> what about a pregnant lady? The baby inside got dusted, and it gets three snapped. Did she like? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Eight months pregnant. Oh, no, no, no. It would still come back, but she just wouldn't know that she was fucking pregnant again. What? Like but she was? Like, like, I dusted at eight months no. pregnant though. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Holy yeah. That's fuck. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's some like nightmare shit. Why are all your theories about pregnant women? Yeah, yeah. What's no, like, it's like, Hoppy, I know their lives also. Yeah. We get it. You're pro. You into preggy life. porn? Huh? You into preggy porn? God, no. he's pro life. My brother was wicked in life. life. Whoa! Why'd you say you're it like pro- that? Pro death? What are you? Oh, pro choice. Oh, okay. My brother was wicked in the preggy porn. That's all I'm gonna say. He had so that much preggy porn. Weird. I couldn't yeah. believe it. I was shocked by it. I was just like, God damn, dude, that's a lot of preggy porn. I'm not saying I watched it, but. You jerked off. To no, me. I couldn't. Uh, do How do you that? jerk off the preggy I don't know. You Can't. Ew. Yeah. Well, obviously, we've all seen it, but I'm always yeah. worried that they're hit, I'm worried that they're hitting the baby's soft spot. Yeah. You know, like. <laughs> I think everyone worries about that, though, right? <sighs> you ever Damn, fuck? You ever fuck a pregnant chick? Well, uh, yeah, man, I had a threesome before. <laughs> <laughs> That's the darkest joke. Uh-huh. Uh, any other in-game theories? I think. We pretty much hit that. It's, I'm just saying, there's a giant plot hole that doesn't make sense. There's so many other scenarios that we couldn't oh, even fucking God. touch base on on how this but would I affect. Wonder, like, okay, so it, like it affects the world on a global scale just as much as the fucking snap did. Yeah. Right. Like, the, All the, of a okay. half the world yeah. Now we have to produce back. food to feed. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Agricultural fucking things, fucking textiles, manufacturing of everything. And like, and the last thing I want to add, does it even work? Because if all the microorganisms got dusted too, 
the bacteria that you have in your body you need to survive, does that mean you lost half of that? Doesn't that kill you automatically? That would uh. decimate populations. If you think about it, like, that's what they think killed off the dinosaurs. Like, a uh, fucking star exploded. And when the star explodes, a fucking gamma radiation would wipe off the atmosphere of the Earth. And that's what happened. And, like, it killed all the plants, animals on a molecular level. Like, even, like, and it just, like, fucked up the food chain starting from the very bottom all the way up. So that's probably what would have happened. What the fuck are we talking about here? I got lost. No, no it's fine. It's just, it's a movie. <sighs> And you gotta enjoy it for what it is. But well, God, you know what? You know what? That uh, you there, there's cigarette? one. You there's one pay? fucking thing that I will give it a little bit of saving grace with this wacky theory. It of was ours. really good. The five year gap. We don't know where technology is going to be in five years from now. We don't know what the human race is going to be capable of. They're making these deep fake videos of people that are extremely fucking real, and you don't know what's what. It so. If we continue this trend of, I guess, technological advancement, AI, everything else, there might be a way that we can explain how people were able to come back and we were able to fix it thanks to technology or fucking bots or whatever else, you know? Uh, with Tony's legacy with Stark Industries, building fucking nanobots, everything else. So that is the one thing that I try to keep in my mind, that there's a five-year fucking gap here. I mean, we saw it on Parks and Rec. They jumped forward and they had fucking clear phones and shit. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just stupid little tweaks like that. But, like, there That's might insane. be a way to explain away that. But as as we know it, MCU timeline is set in 2023 right now. Yeah, five years is a long time. I also want to change. know, like, I don't think they knew what happened during the snap. Because, like, when Peter Parker explains, like, you know, I woke up and Doctor Strange was there. And he was doing the, the glowing thing that he always does. So I, that, that like, kid, it's been five years. Like, that and it's that like, led Ugh. me to believe that they there was a place that they actually went to physically. He after said the it snap. felt like it was five seconds and he woke up they and proved, he's like, kid, it's been five years. Right there, that proved our theory, though. Because based upon that, they showed back up on Titan. Right. right. So you do snap back to wherever yeah. you, you, wherever you were. That's what I'm saying. So everyone's fucked. Yeah. Basically, you take out another quarter right. of the population just based on right. the, de- yeah, the, the exactly. final destination it, it aspect of it. reduces it to maybe 33 to now at this point. And then you're also having to care for all wounded and injured people. <laughs> so it's like even – it's it's, it's a fell all look way it's, across but, the board. I don't know. I've kind of this point that, that really, they really could have taken like the future MCU movies for those who were snapped a really interesting way. Like, oh my god. Like, they had, like, all, like, these <laughs> fucked up things. Like, they got all these their... derpy kids running around from falling off no, the fucking... No, just, like, the fact that they remembered being snapped. Can you imagine well, even knowing said, that you were snapped what? and actually, like, remembering something from being snapped? You get a tattoo, man. Even Tony Stark said, just keep everything the way it is. Just bring back the people that we lost in the snap. <laughs> exactly. Y'all, just thank you so much for listening. Please, if you enjoyed this... Share with people. Please it's, share. Please get share. this podcast out there. Also, you can go to Quack Attack 5000 on YouTube and subscribe. There's also Quack Attack 5000 podcast on YouTube where you can listen to all of our previous podcasts. Yeah, that was a lot of fun talking about that. So hopefully you enjoyed listening to this. Share this with your friends. We want to grow this. Send us an email at quackattack5000 at gmail.com. And join our Facebook group, We Are Error. We Are Error. And this has been Duck. Thank you so much for listening. I've been here with Jake and Harvey. And we will see you. When we see you, bitch. When you get snapped, bitch. Oh, that was fun. Now we have to decipher this fucking letter.